very little to choose between these two. Campbell is a couple of years older. Campbell maybe has got a little bit more pop. 21 knockouts in his 26 fights. 22 up tw and 2 down for Peden with 12 knockouts. They're about the same size. They like to fight about the same way. This one should be a legitimate war. Look at the unified rules. 10-point must system is in effect. There's no three knockdown rule nor a standing eight count. Fighter cannot be saved with the bell in any round, unlike our last fight where you could be saved with the bell in the 10th round. Either the referee or the doctor can stop the fight. And again, the headbutt rule would go to the cards after the fourth round. And we are underway. Campbell in the purple trunks, beaten in the black. This should be an action fight. No, there's no way for it not to be. Yeah, seek and destroy from Robbie Heaton. And Nate Campbell will meet him there. Very confident Nate Campbell. He says, I am a fighter. I'm not going to run. I'm not going to, you can see on the back of his uh, neck there, on the shoulders, the word the fighter hand, tattoo. Break clean, break clean. That's how he wants to fight tonight. You have announcer tattooed in the back of your tattoo. See the Galaxy Warrior on the trunks of Nate Campbell, and that is a gym, the Galaxy Gym, where he used to fight. It's no longer around, but he said, I'm going to uh, perpetuate the myth of the Galaxy Gym. I call myself the Galaxy Warrior. Spelled with two X's. He's trying to put on the eyes of Robbie Peden. Robbie Peden, though, I saw him in his last fight. He was getting more extension on his punches. You know, so many fighters move in so close that they're not able to throw combinations. Not Robbie. He's getting his punches out in front of him. But it was Campbell that just threw that combination. Left to the head and right to the body. Eden is a better combination puncher than Campbell. He'll throw five and six punches at a time straight down the middle. But Campbell's hits with significantly better power in both hands. Punches hook to punches. the body and the right hand to the head. Campbell, when we talked to him this morning, wasn't sure how Peden was going to fight him. He said, I'll just wait and see. So far, Peden wants to press Ooh. the fight. Good right hand. Huge right hand. Look at the left hand of Robbie Peden down by his waist. Step back. Break clean. Break clean. Step back. This is a fight with something real at stake. Oh, yeah. Both guys, a, a win here for either guy, propelled them to a fight with the elite. Yeah, these are two guys really, you're absolutely right, right on the cusp. Certainly indicative of this first round, too. Both of them extremely cautious this first round because they know so much writing on this fight. Neither one of them wants to have their back on the ropes. You can see Pete no, try no, to get no, out of there. No, stop, He's stop, a bit stop, more stop, defensive stop. than I anticipated he'd be in the first round. Well, he has Man, missed a few hit punches in this first round. Robbie has. He's kind of uh, trying to settle down. He's just so fired up. He was angry. He said he was angry about this fight. And Nate Campbell had said some things about him. He heard some things through the game. Great fine. Your temper, you lose your temper, get angry, you get sleepy with a guy like Nate Campbell. That's absolutely really right. Him. Yep. Lose your temper, you lose your fight. Hi. And a long look from the two of them, which is all just gamesmanship. What about Robbie Peden? He's, you know, Peden really does put his punches punch. together well, Relax. actually. He's aggressive, although and not as aggressive Body in that cap. round as we're used to seeing him, but attacks in that kind of Australian Jeff Fennick style. Very good stamina, right always in top right. condition. Hasn't fought yeah. in a while, although nowadays, uh, no fights in seven months uh, isn't that rare. And as we said earlier, the one thing that he has to think about, he has been cut on occasion. See the focus Keaton has right now. His greatest flaw as a pro so far, I would say, has been a a, a, a lapse in concentration, usually in the middle rounds. You see how focused and dedicated and energetic he is here. Not always the case in the fifth and sixth round. We'll tend to get okay, a little okay, bit sloppy. No refer, no refer. Out Listening out to the voice of Max Kellerman, who is uh, with us for the first time. The champ, Sean O'Grady. I'm Barry Tompkins. <laughs> He's giving ground here in this second round. He's moving back. He's trying to shake out. He's 
still tight. You know, he was so excited about this. There's a big left hook from him. And while he's moving forward, he never was a big fan of carrying the hands down like he does, like Robbie does. There's why. Yeah, exactly. It took a long left hand from Campbell. And here's what we anticipate going into this fight in microcosm. He throwing his hands, with carrying the round, landing the combination. Campbell not busy enough, but when oh, forced, landing the much harder clean. shot. Microcosm? I, I thought we were in Pachanga. It's right near Microcosm. Oh, okay. It's not far. Oh, let him go. Let him go. Step back. <laughs> let him go. That's a good idea. Every fight we've seen Robbie feeding in has been virtually a replay of, of the other. Yeah, he picks it up where he leaves it off. And, uh, he leaves it. He makes a statement. Soft right hand. You know, he is giving more ground than I've ever seen him give. Still got, still early in this fight. Remember, championship fights usually begin about the third and fourth round. These old veteran pros like these two are. Take a few rounds to shake out the cobwebs. See what your opponent's going to do. Set up your battle plan. Robbie Peden has been working against much bigger guys. He was okay, working stop. against guys up to 160 pounds, a guy named Sam Solomon. Counter right hand, good one. Right. You know, the danger of working with bigger opponents in the gym is that you slow down in the ring, but you saw a lot of speed there from Robbie. And from Campbell, look at that combination from him. Campbell is still not closing the gap. I'd like to see him move in a little bit closer to throw those punches. Throw the upper half of his body with every shot. These guys seem really evenly matched to me, Max. Uh, this seems like the sort of fight that it's just going to be a question of who's right on this night. I expect it to get more explosive as this fight moves on. Every fight that way. Coming out of the end of round number two. in every single fight, and I think you saw it in that glimpse of a fight against Lamont Pearson, he, a fight that he incidentally won. He won, though, not that dissimilar to this fight. Pearson had real success boxing. That fight was about even at the time that Pearson was uh, quit because of a, a, an injured hand. That fight back in August of 2003 right here in uh, Tonga. And here he is at Petranga all over again. Fighting Nate Campbell, a guy who uh, brings a lot to this dance. Pearson, incidentally, does not have fight changing power, and yet I felt uh, he felt Pearson's power once or twice in that fight. Now, Campbell, on the other hand, does. He does, he does. He was, he was an even match for Casamayor. He does. And, and Casamayor is a top guy. And Nate, Nate Campbell is not going to go in that shell like Pearson did. He won't sit there with hands up around his face and allow his opponent to hit him. He'll fight back. Now, you know, it's interesting. We have a chance to talk to the fighters uh, the morning of the fight. It was a good shot to the body. And another one. Good idea. And there's a right to the head. Slow down your opponent. Come on, says Robbie. It's better to say, we talked to the fighters in the morning of the fight, and you really get a good sense as to how confident a fighter really is. And I don't know how you guys feel, but I came away from those meetings this morning thinking both these guys really believe they're going to win. It's so great because when you talk to one fighter, you're like, wow, that's great. He's fantastic. And all of a sudden, you talk to the other fighter. They don't realize their opponents are thinking the same thing. Well, especially these two guys who have had a lot of experience winning in their career. These are guys who are not used to losing. Well, a lot of times you talk to a guy and the guy says, you know, tell you the truth, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. We've talked to guys who are fighting left-handers, and we've said, how is it fighting a left-hander? And they said, oh, is he a left-hander? Great shot from Robert yeah. Guys, six left hooks. In, in succession, four, a, a combination at one point of four straight hooks, three to the body and one to the head from Pete. He has the quicker hands. That's how fast he is. That hook to the head, that hook to the body. Yeah, both guys taking the other's best in this round. I gotta say, this might be, considering the opponent, the sharpest I've seen Pete. It is no fear boxing. Oh, good uppercut by Campbell. It's a heck of a round of boxes here. Start how do you beat score up. this? Break clean, break clean. Get your ass. Come on, come on, stop the coffee. Come on. Starting to heat up by the sixth round we'll be talking about. Is that the best round of the year? You, you might be uh, right. Here's Peden again. Being held with one hand and hitting him with the left hand. Now Campbell with the right hand. Showing an impressive defense, Peden. You can keep his hands up against a guy like this. 
What a round of boxing. Just tremendous. Mano a mano. Barry, that's what you were talking about.